Hello friends and welcome to 2019. I want to talk to you for a moment today about something that I came across this morning while reading The Courage to Be Disliked. The book is a good one and is a series of conversations between a wise philosopher and a young person with the central idea being that most of the difficulties that we face in life are tied to a disproportional amount of value that we place on interpersonal relationships. Not to imply that these relationships are unimportant, but rather that most of our problems stem from the amount of influence or power that we grant to others over us. Instead, the philosopher counsels the young person that we should seek to make contributions to our society, cultivating what he calls horizontal relationships rather than vertical relationships. In vertical relationships, we see everyone as either above us or beneath us, and we treat them accordingly. And in the process, we end up misunderstanding our own perceptions of who we are. Whereas if we see others as equals, not superiors to be impressed or inferiors to be at best managed or at worst shunned, but as equals, then these horizontal relationships become foundational to a better quality of life for all involved. The book addresses that most often what hinders our personal growth or achievement is that we live in fear of what others may say or think of us, or we attempt to live up to others' expectations of us to the point that we never fulfill our own expectations or even have the opportunity to discover what those expectations are, resulting in essentially living others' lives instead of living our own. I believe that the idea of having courage to confront our own fears of what others think of us or the fantasies of others' expectations of us is a powerful and liberating idea. At one point, the philosopher says to the youngster, after the youngster is, is pushed back that this is an impossible idea to achieve, the philosopher says, it's not that you lack ability, but that you lack courage. Think about that. What is it that you would like to accomplish in a new year? What is it that you would absolutely go after if you did not live in fear of what others would think of you or you weren't already on a path endeavoring to live up to the unrealistic expectations of others. I think this is a very helpful and practical idea for all of us as we launch into a new year. Stop trying to impress others who you perceive to be above you and refuse to dismiss those who you think are below you and see everyone as an image bearer of God uniquely qualified to contribute along with you to the collective good. What is holding you back? You do not lack ability. Perhaps you lack courage. May all of us have more courage to make valuable contributions to our world and enrich our lives in 2019.